Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Stacy, also known as Stress Knits Yarn on Instagram. And this is my YouTube channel and I am bringing plants into it and I am so excited because over the past year I have brought plants into my home and taken care of them and really learned a lot. So this time I thought we would talk about my favorite houseplants of January 2021 and yeah I, I'm really excited about all of these and some of them kind of surprised me when I pulled them down from their spots and oh, I just I love them so much so without too much let's get into it. So the first plant that I'm going to talk about is a tried and true plant in my collection. It is that plant that got me into house plants and that is the Hoya Carnosa Compacta. Now this is a really beautiful <laughs> plant. I love the curly leaves, but this, this lady got me into some trouble last week. She had a mealybug outbreak and mealybugs don't stress me out too much, but I mean, I still have to clean some of the leaves off and I'm still treating her with the pesticide, but I think they're all gone, which is good. So I actually ended up planting two of my Hoya Carnosa Compactas together in this pot. This is actually just the pot. There's also a saucer that goes underneath it and I got it in the dollar section at Target. I think it was five dollars and it's just such a cute ceramic pot and it has a drainage hole. Really great but this plant I love the curly leaves. I love the sound if you can hear that. I love the sound they make when you touch them. They're very slow growers, but they are so easy to take care of and they don't need a lot of water. It's sitting in my south window and my south window gets pretty warm. So um, occasionally, especially in the summer, it would get sun stressed. Right now it doesn't look too stressed, but I just, <laughs> I love her so much. And when she needs water, she tells me that she's thirsty by wrinkling. And I don't know if you can see that leaf right here. It's a little wrinkly. And I just, I love her. And she has grown so much for me over the past year. I don't know, we're just, she's my best plant friend. I, this is the plant that if I, ever came across it in a nursery, it'd be really hard for me not to purchase. I want one in every room. I just, I love this little tentacle. <laughs> and they're so beautiful when they're full, big, long plants, and I can't wait for her to get that mature. So that is my first favorite plant, and honestly my favorite plant in the entire world. Hoya Carnosa Compacta Variegata. Now plant number two is also a Hoya, and that would be my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen. And she's just in this cute little pot from Ikea, and I actually just have her set in there. She's still in her grow pot. And I don't know what to really say about her except for she's beautiful. I love the Crimson Queen more than the Crimson Princess. I really love the outline of the leaves being white. I think it's just this really beautiful statement. <laughs> I love a Hoya succulent leaves and just the shape is round and also just, I don't know, it's just so, it's so beautiful. And honestly, some of these like this little vine looks a lot like a Hoya Chelsea to me, which is another favorite plant of mine that I will end up showing you eventually. But oh, she's just so beautiful. And I actually have a smaller one in my kitchen, but I just brought this six inch 
pot into my life and she's already giving me some new growth. I don't know if you can see that. It's just, it's another easy plant. I really love Hoyas. They're my favorite genus and I don't know. I just, I love, I love them so much. And even just the basic Hoyas bring me so much joy. So that is plant number two. Plant number three so I'll just talk about because it it's right here and this surprised me because when I first got into houseplants I didn't understand why people loved philodendron so much so this is a Hoya Hoya <laughs> this is a philodendron Brazil and it is stunning I really did not like this plant when I first got into houseplants I didn't like the yellow variegation. I thought it made the plant look sick, but I think it is, I think it's stunning. And the like almost, the red, almost corally pink petioles, it's beautiful. And the heart shaped leaves with just the most beautiful variegation on it. This little splashy one makes me so happy. And I don't know. I just, this usually sits on my bookshelf behind me and I can't wait for her to grow more and just vine everywhere. You know, she's also very easy, um, very dramatic when she wants to be watered. She'll just kind of wilt and she perks right back up. She actually just got watered a few days ago, so she's still pretty perky. I just, I can't get over like the complete 180 I did on this plant in a year. And I'm so happy that it's in my collection. And I'm so happy to be sharing this, this little guy with you. It's just, it's so pretty. And I love these lime leaves. It kind of looks like this part might be reverting back to a philodendron lemon which is fine with me, or if you know what's going on here, let me know. But I just, oh, I love it so much. So that is my philodendron Brazil. Put her right here. And then let's talk about one of my newest plants <laughs> to my collection. And that is my Trandoscantia Nanook. And it's got a little bit of cold weather damage. It's been really cold here in Michigan and she traveled. She did really well. Um, I think she's gonna be fine. She might lose a few leaves, but here she is. And I love this plant in a terracotta pot. It just makes the color pop. And I'm so excited to get into growing season with this one because I think it's just going to take off in my south window. I, I love her. I have her near a humidifier. Yeah, she's just beautiful. Yeah, definitely some cold damage. These little brown spots. I don't know if you can see them. Here's one. But honestly, getting a plant in February in Michigan is no easy feat. So she's done really well. And I don't know too much about Trandoscantia. I really love them. Um, my local grocery store, kind of, um, Westbourne Market, if you are familiar, has these giant hanging baskets of Trandoscantia zebrina, which is the uh, more purpley silver one. And I've also been really tempted by that, but I just don't have anywhere to put it. So I just love having this cute little guy here. I also have um, two smaller ones right back here. I don't know if you can tell. Um, that I'm trying to rehab a little bit and see if I can eventually pot all of them up together and just have this big, beautiful, trailing pink plant, mm. <laughs> which is just amazing. And I love having this pop of color in with all of the green and white foliage that I have. And then last of my top five, 
is my philodendron silver sword. So this is a gift from my friend Beth. So Beth, if you're watching, thank you so much. She sent me a gift card to REM Botanicals and they were having a restock and I saw this and I jumped on it. So this is a very juvenile silver sword. The leaves will get much bigger. I think I'll eventually change this out to a moss pole when it gets a little bit bigger, but it's just the silver leaves are so stunning. I love the growth pattern and I can't wait to watch this one grow and put out more mature leaves over time. So we're just getting to know each other. It is putting out some aerial roots for me right now. I don't know if you can see these little, it's kind of hard to position it in a way, but they're coming out right here. And I have it tied to this bamboo stick that I've gotten with other plant orders. Um, just tied it with some yarn. And yeah, she's doing well. I think I'm going to have to repot her sooner rather than later because her um, the base of the stem is a little wobbly and I kind of just want to get her in a more stable environment sooner rather than later. So I will probably pot her up with a moss pole soon, probably in the spring. And so I was going to do five. I was going to do five plants, but as I was setting up, I saw a plant that I am very excited about and it's going to seem kind of anticlimactic because this is such a common plant. I mean, a lot of these are pretty common. I think the silver sword is definitely, yeah, the um, most uncommon out of all of these, but I have the worst luck with this next plant. And that would be a Monstera Deliciosa. <sighs> so this is obviously a very, Again, juvenile form of a Monstera. There are no fenestrations or anything like that. Um, but I am getting this new leaf. Um, the, the stem or petiole, whatever you want to call it, um, was pregnant when she came into my life this week, last week, last week, <laughs> and she started coming out. So, um, I'm very excited to see what she looks like. I do need to clean her and dust her off, but she had a really great trip via transit. And I have the worst luck with Monsteras. I have had, let's see, had one. A Monstera is my first plant, and I think it had blight and it died. The second one, I was able to save a section of it and it's living in our kitchen, but my husband takes care of it because he doesn't want it to die. And then we had a giant one in our bedroom that also died, but I think it had a pest issue when it came into our house and I just didn't catch it in time. Either that or I over or underwatered it. I have yet to figure out this plant and it's supposed to be one of the easiest plants to take care of. It's always in like the top five house plants for beginner videos. I cannot, we don't get along. So I am doing this from the earliest stages that I can. So I bought a very juvenile four inch plant and we are getting her a moss pole and we are going to become best friends. We are going to learn each other and thrive with each other. And I just, I love her so much. And I just, yeah, she's just a little dusty. Gotta, gotta dust her off. But yes, so I'm very excited to chronicle her growth while in my care. 
so she is in my office this is my office there is a south facing window and a south facing door window which is really nice so this room gets a lot of light all day and I also have her semi near a humidifier so I'm hoping because I also think the one in my bedroom didn't have enough humidity because I sleep with a fan on so I've introduced two humidifiers to our bedroom and I have one in my office. So um, I'm, ho I'm really hoping that we can stay friends, that she will grow for me and that she will love being staked up because I also think that was an issue um, with our giant one in our bedroom. I think it just had a bunch of issues and we just did not understand each other very well because um, it just definitely grew out and was coming out of the pot and I also I don't know I just did not know how to take care of this plant so I'm going to try to learn and be better for it because I love monsteras and I also love the idea of it putting out a fenestrated leaf maybe in a few months um yeah I just I love her I didn't <laughs> no, I was going to talk about her for so long. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to see how she grows. So those are my favorite houseplants for January 2021. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like, subscribe, and comment for me to get this video out there. And yeah, I will see you soon. Bye.